What is up YouTube? Um, I came out here to do a video response to the comments that I've been getting on my video that I responded to Nature Boy TV about um, him calling Dr. Sebi a fraud. Now, I'm not going to be talking about Dr. Sebi, but I'm going to be talking about um, my intention on responding to Nature Boy. Now, the first issue is that I don't see how you can talk about God and um, nature with aggression. Uh, this just doesn't go together. If you are in nature and you are fulfilled, you should be on the happier spectrum. You should be on the happier side. You should be on the side that's calling out people to say, come on through and see this beauty come and share this beauty instead I sense a lot of anger coming from nature boy and um, so I want to talk about two things firstly our godly nature our godly state and secondly about um, my intention on dr. Sebi right okay so firstly our godly state if you watch children playing, they're blissful, they're running around, they're laughing, they're, you know, they're playing, they're happy. That's our natural state. Now, what Dr. Sebi talked about when it came to diet was the fact that in our natural state, we should be blissful, we should be happy. And a lot of it has to do with our diet, all right? so. He dispersed a lot of information. He gave a lot of um, a, a product out there. Of course, I mean, it's controversial. He, people, some people say he shouldn't have sold his herbs. He charged too much to go to Usha village. And um, my response to that is this. Why he carried so much money, which got him in trouble, trouble, um, in the end was that he was buying the herbs. So all those um, people who say, Dr. Sebi should not have sold his product. Um, are we p taking into account that he took his time to do the research? One. Secondly, he spent his money to buy the herbs. Thirdly, he spent his time to put them together. And fourthly, he took his time to talk to people, educate people, inform people without limitations. There was no point where I heard Dr. Sebi saying, buy my DVD, you'll find all the information. Buy my book, if he wrote a book. Instead, he just dispersed information. So let's get that straight. Secondly, now, some people have um, articulated that they had a bad experience with Dr. Sebi, and therefore he's a fraud. I think that's jumping to conclusions, really. Of course, I understand if you had a terrible experience working with him it's understandable that you'd be angry and you'd be frustrated about it but my point is this the fact still remains that the man put together great product great research and put it out to the world that's objective that's not personal the information is out there is verified is true so bottom line is that um, I think we should learn to look at things objectively rather than subjectively and really get to the crux of the matter instead of um, putting blame on other pe people, passing the buck. What are we doing to better the world? What have I done to better the world? I try to uh, rectify issues that I see um, infiltrating our society and breaking us up instead of bringing us together. That's my point. So I would like to say thank you to all those people who responded to my video and um, gave resources of where you could buy herbs, gave um, more information about um, what herbs have done to, for them, how Dr. Sebi has impacted them. So in conclusion, I would just like to say, if we can keep the focus on building each other up rather than tearing each other down, I think we'll, we face a better future. 
We as black people have been through it. I'm from Africa, Zimbabwe. We were colonized by the British. So I know what you're talking about. But if somebody escapes to nature and then laughs at those who are still in the system, in the matrix, mocks them, brings them down, I don't think that's, that's the way to go. I don't think that's what nature does to you. If you are in nature and you still feel unfulfilled, you got issues to work on. So for those still in the matrix, I say, learn to work around the system. Learn to find your spot in the system. You don't have to be um, going out and buying all the fast food. You don't have to do that. Of course, it's not an easy thing to, 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 to just abandon because take, take, for example, sugar. As addictive as cocaine, it's a drug. Our society is drugged. Media pushing out all this garbage and, and um, telling us what to buy, where to buy it, when to buy it. Mind, you mind control. Of course, I get all that. It's not easy living in the matrix. But if you run away <laughs> from, from all this and then point fingers, I don't think that's the way to go. So this video is about connecting in a positive way and building each other up and for all those who have responded thank you very much I still want to hear from you um, I must say I do random videos the one before this is about the the Lumia phone versus the iPhone plus I just do videos on my life but I think I'll be concentrating more on Dr. Sebi healing and wellness um, because I think it's a vital thing to talk about and to do so thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a great day.